reel it in. I got the bag. Tell a friend. She got some ass. Bring it in. Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks, back here with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this awesome white joggers modded outfit, which comes with the invisible arms and these black racing gloves, with a checkerboard top as well, using the transfer glitch after the latest patch of 1.51, so I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video, and if you do, please make sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below, and also comment if you want to see any outfits in particular with the transfer glitch, and also leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it does help out a lot, and just lets me know that you guys are enjoying the vids. So anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into this glitch. So with this glitch, we'll delete all of your outfits. So make sure you have that outfit on you don't want to lose. So this is the outfit I'm going to be keeping. So once you have your outfit on, you want to bring up your pause menu. Go to online, then you want to go down to the swap character menu. Now just go ahead and select that. So with this glitch as well, you need to make sure that your male character is on the left. But if it's on the right, then you can't do this glitch. So anyways, once you've loaded into the swap character menu, you want to go ahead and wait till you load in. So you can just like be, um, you're able to choose between the two characters. So once you are able to, you want to go over to the second character, you want to press X to edit. So as you guys can see, mine is a male character on the screen. You want to make sure that you change it to over to a female character, and then just go ahead and accept that rank as well. So just bring over your rank from your main character. So as you guys can see, as I said, mine is a male. So just switch yours over to female, just like I do here. Then go ahead and press save and continue. Now just go ahead and wait till you load into GC Online. So I'll see you guys once I've loaded in. So once you guys load into GTA Online, you just want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu to so just go ahead and check if you have any clothes stores on the map. So as you guys can see, I don't have any. So if you don't either, just back out of the map, go over to the online section on the pause menu and then just go ahead and press find new session. So now once you've pressed that, you just want to go ahead and wait till you load into the new lobby. So as you guys can see, I've loaded into the new lobby. So now once you bring up your pause menu, you should see that you have clothes stores just like I do here. So now once you can see you have your clothes stores, just go ahead and steal any streetcar and just make your way over to any of the clothes stores. It doesn't matter which one you make your way over to. I'll just make my way over to this one here. So now for the first step, you want to make your way over to the accessory section. Then you want to go to earrings and just check if you have any equipped. So I don't here, but if you do, just go ahead and take them off. So now once you've taken them off, you want to go down to the gloves section. And now make your way down to number 12, which should be the light woodland tactical gloves. So just go ahead and equip them. So now once you've equipped them, just back out of the accessory section. Now once you've done that, you want to make your way over to the shoe section. So now once you're at the shoe section, you want to make your way over to high heel boots. And scroll down to number 24, which should be the deluxe midnight combat boots. So number 24, just go ahead and um, go ahead and equip them. So now once you've equipped them, you want to make your way over to the pants section or the trouser section. Now make your way to the utility pants and make your way down to number 28. So I actually went the wrong way at the start, but you want to make your way to number 28. Which should be the cream knee pad cargoes. So just go ahead and equip them. So now once you've equipped them, just back out the pants section. Now make your way over to the top section. So now once you're at the top section, you just, you just want to keep scrolling down until you find sports tops. Uh, you might have to scroll for like quite a bit. So just keep scrolling until you find the sports top section. So now once you found sports tops, just make your way down to number 50, which should be the grey racer back, so then just go ahead and equip that, so it should be number 50. So now once you equip that, you can go ahead and save the outfit, so this is the first outfit component done, so you can just go ahead and save this. So I also do recommend saving the um, component outfits as just like the preset name that it comes with when you save it, because what I do find that when I name them different names, it doesn't like transfer them over. So just go ahead and save as like new outfit 0, new outfit 1, just like the preset names. So now for the second component, um, the second component outfit, sorry. I'm going to make create down to work jackets on the top section. I'll go down to number 9, which should be the peach camo closed field jacket. So just go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, just back out of the um, work jackets. Now make create down to gun running t-shirts. And you want to go down to number 19. So just keep scrolling until you find number 19. Should be the grey digital roll T, so just go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, just back out of the top section and now make your way down to the pants section. So now once you're at the pants section, you're gonna go down to sports pants and you just want to equip the first one, which should be sported muscle pants. So just go ahead and equip them. Now make your way back over to the shoe section. Now once you're at the shoe section, you're going to go down to high heel boots again. 
and equip number 24 again, which will be the Deluxe Midnight Combat. Let's just go ahead and equip those again. So now once you equip them, these um, this is the second component outfit done. So you can just go ahead and save this. So now once you save this component, you should see that you have these two components here. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you, you should have these two components made, just like I have here. So now once you have these, just go ahead and equip the first one, just like I have here. So now once you equip the first one, just back out of the clothing menu. Now bring up your interaction menu and go over to the take the easy way out um, option and just go ahead and select that. So what this will do, this will force a game save to save the components that um, we just made. So then so to make sure that the um, transfer glitch actually works. So now once you've loaded back from taking the easy way out, just bring up your pause menu. Go to online and now you want to go down to the creator option and just go ahead and select that. So you just want to start creator. So now once you start up creator, you want to go over to create a race. Then you want to go down to land race. So now once you select the land race, just wait for it to load. Now for all of the race details, just copy me if you want. But for the title and description, you can just put a bunch of random letters. Now for the photo, you can just take a random photo of the sky. Now for the maximum players, you want to make sure that is set to two players and the route type is set to point to point, otherwise this will not work. Now you can just change the race class, like for the cars. Now for the place, um, for the trigger location, you just want to be hovering over select trigger location, then bring up your pause menu, go over to the map and just warp over to the airport, so the LS airport just like I did here. Now just place the trigger location just near what I do, or where I do here. Now just take a random picture of the sky for the lobby camera. And now for the checkpoints, I do recommend making it a race length of 0.75 miles. So if you want, you can just copy what I do here. So just copy the checkpoints that I do. So yeah, if you want to, just make sure that it's around 0.71 to about 0.78. So just in between that, I recommend. So now anyways, once you've done the checkpoints, just go ahead and test the race. So you want to go into the test option. Then you just want to go ahead and do the, do the race. So it'll just make you drive the whole length. So now once you've completed it, you'll get this completed thing pop up. Just go ahead and accept that, then bring up your pause menu, go to online and then go down to choose character, then just go ahead and select choose character. So now just go ahead and wait till you load it into the choose character menu. So now once you load it into choose character, you want to go over to your female character and press square or X to delete and then it will make you type in delete, so just go ahead and do that. Then you will see it will say deleting character from GTA Online, please not turn off your system. Then you will see two characters walk back out, so it should be your main character. Then a random second character should walk back out with your main character. So now once they walk back out, you want to press circle or B to back out into story mode. You want to make sure you don't go into online with your male character, otherwise it will mess up the whole glitch and you have to do it again. So now anyways, once you're back into story mode, you just want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu as soon as you can. Then you want to go to online, go down to play GTA online and then go over to invite only session. And then just start the invite only session. Or if you want you can go into a public lobby it really doesn't matter just make sure it's either a public lobby or invite only because the rest just like the, has the less chance of working so anyways once you've loaded into your invite only session or your public session you want to wait until you properly spawn in so once you've spawned in you want to make your way over to a clothes store or just make your way over to your wardrobe then go ahead and save the alpha you have on so i just recommend saving it in slot 20 just so it's not in the way of the components so i'm just going to name that main because it's my main outfit so now once you save the outfit, you want to go over to that outfit section, so if you're at a store, just go to the desk. Then you want to go to biker suits and equip the black biker suit. So now once you equip that, you want to just back out the clothes menu, bring up your pause menu, go over to online, go to jobs, go down to play jobs, then go over to Rockstar created, then go down to verses, and then just scroll until you find the mission cookie cop, so it should be near the top. So just go ahead and start that mission up. So now once you've loaded into the mission, you should see all these menus or this um, option sorry just go ahead and change the clothing to player owned and now just wait for someone to join so as you guys can see someone's joined i've started the lobby or the mission sorry so just wait until the mission until you like load into the mission and then once you load into the mission you want to go down to own outfits and press right in the d-pad twice and you guys should see the modded outfit here so now once you see the modded outfit just go ahead and ready up and wait for everyone else in the lobby to ready up as well so now once everyone's readied up you see you load into the mission so now just go ahead and wait till you can move around after this little like cutscene. So now once you can move around, just bring up your interaction menu, go down to style, go over to accessories and like gear, just equip a rebreather or an earpiece. Then just quit the job using your phone. So just bring up your phone and then go to job list and then just quit the job there. So now it will you'll just wait until load into GTA Online. 
So then once you're loaded back into GTA Online, just make your way um, to the front of this ammunition store. So usually you do spawn behind like this ammunition store here. So just make your way over to the front just like I do here. Now once you're inside, you can go ahead and save the outfit. Then you are done with the glitch and you should have the modded outfit. So I hope you guys did go on to enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to let me know by leaving a like, also comment. Like if you enjoyed this and if you want to see any outfits in particular. Also subscribe if you're new and enjoy my content because it does really help out a lot. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video and peace.